Oh, but Melody, you already used that in a video. Yeah. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. Hey guys, today I'm bringing you 20 outfit ideas that you can use this fall using my mostly thrifted or secondhand wardrobe. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna start this video off with my first day of fall outfit that I, yes, I wore it yesterday. <laughs> I was like, I want to embody crisp dying leaves and I feel like I've accomplished that with the burnt oranges and the browns. I feel so good in this, I love this so much. It's a little bit hobbity, a little bit cottage core, which is right up my alley these days. Yeah, and if you're like, uh, Melody, you already used that outfit and showed it to us, may I direct you to the name of this channel? Get on board, man. And this entire outfit is thrifted. And the boots, I recently got these on eBay. These are Laredo, 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 I don't know, leather roper boots, but they might be the last time I buy boots off eBay because I have bought two Western roper boots now off eBay, leather ones, and they just, the leather's not in great condition, even though the listing always says that it is. I don't know, I, I genuinely really want to wear these, so I'm hoping I can revive them and get a lot of use out of them because they are very cute. They're just, they feel like Hardy's biscuits like two days after you ordered them. I mean, Hardy's biscuits are already pretty tough to begin with, so they're hockey pucks. Next up is this very whimsy goth type of look. That's an aesthetic that I've been really digging lately, mostly because it just, it is the perfect synthesis of everything that I love. Cause I love 90s, I love soft grunge, I love dark witchy inspired looks and aesthetics. So there's a lot of whimsy goth in this lookbook just because that's stuff that I already love and already had in my closet. I just didn't think to combine it in that way before. So here's our first one. This top was a hand-me-down from my mom. It's just a basic white long sleeve tee from Walmart. The dress was also a hand-me-down. This is vintage and actually my sister-in-law <laughs> snagged it for me off Facebook Marketplace. A woman was getting rid of a bunch of clothes from the 80s and 90s for free. So this was a free hand-me-down as well and definitely the best item that I got out of that hand-me-down haul. These boots were a thrift purchase this year. Definitely one of my best in-store thrift finds ever. They are like this chunky kind of rounded toe, almost motorcycle boot, I guess you could say. They are to die for. I love them so much. So this is the first of multiple dark academia type looks to come. And while it feels a little goofy, I also kind of love it. I've never paired these things together in this way, but this feels right. It feels good. So this skirt I've had for many years. I think I bought it off ThreadUp in like 2017 maybe. The vest is also purchased off ThreadUp a couple years ago. The blouse, however, I found at my local thrift store and it is like that perfect, <laughs> ridiculous, poofy sleeve tie neck yeah i look like i'm ready to go on stage for 1776 Will someone shut that man up? Yeah! but then paired with the skirt and the knee-high socks and these chunky mary jeans it feels also a little bit 60s at the same time and the shoes are a more recent purchase i did buy these new off dsw i was actually looking for boots and then came across the listing for these mary janes and I, it was love at first sight so i'm very excited to wear these this fall i think they're gonna go with so much in my wardrobe so yeah this feels a little bit out there but i also really love it Another dark academia look. This dress, this pinafore goes so well with so many blouses. I could even swap out this blouse for the white one that I had before and it would work perfectly. I went a little bit darker with the colors here and I would say even a little bit more romantic just because of the ruffles and the texture of the shirt. So this blouse was thrifted locally. The dress and the belt were purchased on thread up and I kept the same knee highs and shoes. I tried a couple other options, but I think this pair works the best. And then I guess we'll go with the backpack. Although I feel like I should have brown shoes because of the brown belt. Maybe that's just because of also throwing in the brown backpack. I mix my browns and blacks, I'm a rebel. And if it were colder, I would wear tights underneath. Uh, tights just take a really long time to put on and I didn't feel like it. So this one didn't come out quite how I pictured it in my mind. I'm really just having trouble styling this vest because it is so large. It's so baggy that I have a hard time figuring out what to do with it. When I tried it with trousers, tan trousers in the past, I just really didn't like that. So I thought a skirt would be better. I mean, it is better 
but I still don't love it. So it's it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. The black turtleneck, I don't remember where I got it because I've had it for so long. The sweater vest I thrifted locally and the pleated skirt I also thrifted locally. This was from the men's section actually. And then the docks were purchased new several years ago. Yeah, I went with the docks instead of one of my more Oxford-like shoes just because I wanted something heavier to balance out the heaviness of the sweater. It's just very large and in charge. <laughs> it is the focal point of this. Yeah, so untucking it, let me just show you. Um, I don't think I like it like this. It's just so long and drowning. I don't know, maybe if the skirt were shorter. I just think I'm someone who benefits from at least a little bit of waist definition. This is just turning me into potato. Like a very cute act academic potato, but potato. Let me try it with a different skirt really quick, actually. I do feel like that's so much better. Maybe, I mean, it's still, it's still kind of baggy in a weird way. Is that coming off? What is happening? It still feels kind of weird, but it's definitely better with the tighter skirt. And this cargo skirt was purchased last summer on ThreadUp. It's funny because I bought it on a whim. I just thought it was kind of cool. And then lo and behold, cargo skirts are like some big deal this year. I could pretend that I'm just like so ahead of the times, but nope, that was a total fluke. I'm very sorry if you hear construction noises going forward. I had to open the windows because I am sweating. It is so hot in here. But anyway, this is just a pretty basic soft grunge type of look. I actually really like this. It's simple enough with just a little bit of extra interest added to it that I would feel perfectly comfortable wearing this oot in a boot. So this sweater is perfect for fall because it's very lightweight and I am most proud of the fact that I pulled this out of the trash during college. <laughs> At the end of the semester, the students would throw away so much stuff, and so I would try to root through the trash where I could, not like super deep into like gross stuff, but I found a lot of clothes just like chilling on top of the trash can. So I've had this for almost a decade, and I used to wear it constantly, but my style has changed and I wasn't really sure how to still keep wearing it, but I did still like it. So this is a really good option. I really like this. Again, still with the cargo skirt, I threw on a belt as well. The tights are just from Amazon. And then a little faux leather backpack. I got this on ThreadUp, but it was originally from Target. Yeah, I definitely will be using this. So here's one for you for your next trip to the Ren Fair, or if you're like me and just kind of want to look vaguely witchy on a random Tuesday. So this definitely falls under the dark cottage core witchy vibes type of looks that I've been really leaning into lately. Man, I would get so many weird looks if I wore this out to my grocery store, but you know what? I'd still do it. So the dress was an Amazon purchase last year. The top, this is actually just a tank top that I have folded under. This I bought on ThreadUp. The corset belt I also bought on ThreadUp. I'm realizing like how much stuff I have comes from ThreadUp, but I've been shopping there for like five years, so I have quite an accumulation by now. And then these boots are from eBay. This is the other pair of Western Roper boots that I said the leather was not in the best condition. They're better than the other ones. They're not stiff like a hockey puck at least, but they definitely need some love. Shoot, maybe I will wear this to the Ren Fair. So here's a fairly simple one, but I wanted to try playing with the whole punk prep thing that is supposedly a thing, a trend this fall. Here's the thing, when you live in a rural farming community, you will never see whatever is supposedly trending. So this is just a plain white short sleeve button down originally from Unique Glow, but I got it on ThreadUp. Same with the skirt. I don't know what brand it is, but I did get this on ThreadUp as well. This is just a tartan, kilt style skirt and the little black backpack again. I thought about going with the Mary Jane shoes because this is kind of a preppy, almost school uniform vibe, but I went with the Western boots instead just because the Mary Janes took it way too far in the schoolgirl direction and that's not really where I wanted to go with this. <laughs> that was like too childish with with all this combined and then same thing with adding a tie i thought about adding a tie and with the boots i think that would be okay but again it was leaning a little too far into school uniform category i just wanted it to look slightly preppy but still have the kilt style skirt be the standout piece and i definitely could see myself wearing this this fall all right, here's a palette cleanser for those of you who aren't really into the wacky stuff I like to wear. Wacky in quotations, because I, I don't really think it's that weird. This is a very basic all black outfit. Can't go wrong there. Where did I get these things? 
I think the black crop top and the black pleated skirt were both from ThreadUp, and the purse too, I think. And then I went with the Doc Martens. I just like the added toughness that it brings to the outfit. And then I would go with probably a denim jacket if it was a cooler fall day. And I forgot to mention before that this also was um, pulled out of the trash during college. And uh, what a great find. I mean, thank you to whoever threw it out because then it became mine, but also shame on you for throwing out perfectly good clothes. What's wrong with you people? Keeping with all black again, but leaning back into the witchy cottage core type of look, I actually think I would classify this more as like Southern Gothic almost, which is another aesthetic that I love. It is beautiful. So this dress was purchased on ThreadUp. It was originally from Shein. It's a very deep V with puffy sleeves and the yoke front, which I love. And then I paired it with the Western style boots. And then I thought this hat tied in nicely with it. Usually I feel like this hat is a little bit too outdated, like a little bit too 2015, but I still like it and it still goes with quite a bit of the stuff that I have. And I thought with this, it brought it all together in that very Western Gothic type of look. I really dig this. Um, I feel like with some extra necklaces, some layered necklaces, this would be so cool. Ooh, I just, I feel good. I feel like myself in this. I like it. All right, I had to set up my artificial lights because the sun is starting to go behind the trees, but it's like fluctuating a lot. It keeps coming in and out. So um, sorry for all the light changes. <laughs> this is another simple whimsy goth type look for you. Oh, but Melody, you already used that in a video. Yeah. Again, I direct you to the name of the channel. So this was a combination that I put together in a previous video and I really liked it. I did actually end up just wearing it out I think the following week. So it's a black t-shirt that has mesh sleeves and a mesh insert on the neck layered underneath this vintage floral dress. I believe I got this dress. I thrifted this dress years ago at some store that I don't remember. The shirt was from ThreadUp and I went with my docs for this. Again, I just, I really like having that heavy masculine element to anchor an outfit with a dress. I also almost forgot that I recently thrifted this black denim jacket, which I really love with this outfit. I probably would have paired this with a few other outfits that I already did, but you know what? I'm not gonna go back and redo them because no, no. And I really like the black denim as an alternative to your traditional denim, just if you want to keep an outfit really dark, or if you have a somewhat lighter outfit that you want to add a dark element to, but you're feeling denim. I don't know. I just think it's going to be a good addition to my wardrobe. More whimsy goth vibes. Again, this feels very much like a date night outfit. I think that's what I would wear it for. So I have a long black velvet dress and then this mesh, um, I don't know, like a shawl, I guess. It's kind of a deep, eggplanty purple, which I think is such a lovely color. I went with the faux alligator green bag and then these chunky Mary Janes again for this. I played around with a few boot options, but I actually thought this captured that kind of 90s feel the best. Everything except for the shoes was thrifted. This just feels so luxurious because of the velvet dress, but also still a little bit dark and mysterious because of the darker colors. Someone is leaf blowing outside and I just, I have limited daylight to do this. So you know what, we're carrying on. Even more whimsy goth, soft grunge vibes happening again. Like I said, it just really aligns with stuff that I already have. So the mesh top and the dress are thrifted. I went with Doc Martens for this. This dress is one of my oldest. I've had this for almost a decade and it's just such a great piece. It is so versatile in my wardrobe. Just, I can wear it all year. I will layer it under, over. It's great, I love it so much. A very simple outfit, but I really like it. This is by far one of my most repeated outfits, so much so that Charles knows when I'm going to wear it and he will wear his matching t-shirt with me. I just really like this combination. It's fairly simple and comfortable. So I've got the mesh top layered underneath a graphic t-shirt. This has the xenomorph 
from Alien. I kind of want to start collecting horror movie t-shirts, but also like I just don't want to have a million t-shirts. And then I've got my loose fit ripped up jeans from Target. It's funny when I first got these, I wasn't so keen on them, but I found more ways to style them this past year and they've become my most worn jeans. And then of course the Doc Martens and a faux leather backpack. So like I said, this is one of my favorites. All right, I am forced to take a break because my phone needs to be charged. So if the lighting changes drastically, that is why. Catch you in a minute. All right, we're in the home stretch. Let's try to wrap this up because I am very quickly losing daylight. Again, we're back to the rusty orange and the black and brown. This is one of my favorite color combinations. This feels a bit cottagecore and hobbity, kind of like the very first outfit. This is actually just two dresses layered over each other. <laughs> So I've got this rusty orange linen dress layered under just a basic black dress from Old Navy originally with a brown leather belt and brought back the western leather boots from eBay that are not very great. <laughs> And all of these items were thrifted. This feels like the perfect fall cottagecore outfit. I mean, I just feel like I'm ready to go run through a pumpkin patch. This feels a little bit basic Pinterest girl boss, but I do like all these colors together. And I just felt like I needed to include some more pants options. I have a lot of dress and skirt outfits in this lookbook. And I also don't have that many sweater outfits, but it stays pretty warm here through the fall. So anyway, I love the color combination going on here. This blazer is houndstooth print. I got this locally at the thrift store and then the pants as well. I thrifted this summer when I went thrifting with my mom and the sweater, I believe I got that on thread up. So also secondhand, the loafers are actually from Walmart. Like I recently got these at Walmart. I was kind of surprised of all places. I've been looking for a basic loafer and I just can never find a pair that I like that is a material that I think will stretch to the shape of my feet. And lo and behold, Walmart had some really basic loafers that are definitely a cheap material, but it feels like it'll stretch with some wear. It didn't squeeze my toes to death like a lot of loafers do. Considering this is a style that I'm not really sure about and didn't want to spend a ton of money on, I, I feel like these are pretty good. They've got elastic in the back too, so it's not killing my heels. Usually they dig into my heels and I hate that. So I like this. I don't know that I would necessarily wear this because it feels a little bit too business casual and that's not really me these days, but I couldn't make a fall lookbook and not include this blazer. I love this blazer. It's so perfect. I don't love this one, but again, I just wanted to include some more pants options. It's a little fuddy-duddy. So again, everything other than the loafers are thrifted. These pants were hand-me-downs from my sister-in-law. And usually I just wear these around the house because they're kind of not the most flattering. They kind of give you a diaper butt. There's just a lot of fabric, but they are very comfortable. So I wanted to try playing them up a little bit more put together and less bumming around the house. So I thought perhaps a button down layered under a sweater might do that. And I think it does look so much more put together than how I usually wear it, which is just with a t-shirt or something. That being said, I'm still not crazy about it just because it's a little unflattering. So if I needed to look more put together, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I was feeling super bloated or having atrocious cramps or something, that's what this would be good for. The sweater is a little bit warm though for early fall. I'm, whoo, ooh. I don't love it, but here's an idea. I think with a more fitted plaid trouser, this would look so much better. And that is something on my wish list. But Melody, you already used that outfit in a video. Don't make me say it again. Yeah, I've already used this, but I really like it. And I changed it a little bit. So before I didn't have the tights, I thought that would make it much more appropriate for fall. And then I also changed the shoes. Instead of wearing my knee-high riding boots like I had before, I thought these kind of leaned into the 60s feeling of this a little bit more. And I just think it is so cute. The sweater vest and the skirt were thrifted locally. The white button down was purchased on ThreadUp. I know I buy a a lot of stuff from thread up <laughs> like i said it's it's an accumulation over like the past five six years yeah i know we've seen this one before but i really like it i hope i get a chance to actually wear this out somewhere this fall because it just is 
This one is so simple, so basic, but I felt like I couldn't not include it considering both of these pieces are supposedly trending right now, which cracks me up. The fact that just plain white tank tops are supposedly trendy. And I actually do like the plain white tank top with the cargo skirt. The simplicity just works. And so I also have tights and the Doc Martens to make it a little bit more fall appropriate, give a little bit more coverage if it were too cold for just a tank top. I think I would just go with my moto jacket, my faux leather jacket. This is just an eternal staple in my wardrobe at this point. I will always have a moto jacket. I mean, it feels a little bit on the nose with like, ooh, aren't you so edgy? But also I like it, so. And if it were just a little too cool to even consider a tank top, I think I would go with just a, um, Hang on. I would probably just go with the plain white long sleeve top. I think that would create pretty much the same effect, the same look. And tank top is from Target. Or is it? Is this the one I thrifted? One of them I thrifted and one I just straight up bought at Target. Cargo skirt I mentioned before is thrifted. I think my leather jacket is as well, my faux leather jacket. Well, both of my leather jackets are thrifted. The real one and the fake one. Anyway. So I don't know if this is something I would necessarily wear, but I wanted to try something a little bit different and I do like the outcome, even if I don't think I would wear it. I still think it's kind of cool, it's kind of interesting. So this is just a regular white button down layered under a tank top that I made and I have it paired with the black corduroy pants. They're kind of a boot cut, so I paired them with some boots. I still need to take these pants in, they're like falling down really bad right now. And then I have them paired with these heeled boots and a little black bag. Yeah, this feels like the kind of thing that I've seen all over Pinterest, maybe, I don't know. So it's not necessarily my style, but I do kind of like it. And I think it's a good way to keep this tank top worn throughout the colder months by throwing it over a button down. This is obviously a theme that we've seen over and over again with my outfits is <laughs> layering the spaghetti straps over something else. And I do just kind of like the texture of the satin and the corduroy balanced out with the plain button down. I think this might be a bonus round, but I wanted to do an extra just in case I miscounted as I was going. So this might be number 20 or this might be number 21. I don't know. So I kept it pretty simple. This feels a little bit whimsy goth, a little bit soft grunge, but yeah, very basic overall. So I have a long sleeve white top paired with this, I guess it's floral and it kind of looks like a snake print as well. I'm calling it floral, floral skirt, but it's very long. I love this skirt so much. And then I went with the black denim jacket and my thrifted black boots, the round toe ones. And this whole outfit is secondhand from thread up, from thread up, from my mom, and from a local store. So yeah. I'm kind of running out of brain power here, so I was kind of scrambling trying to figure out one last like bonus outfit to put together, like I said, just in case I miscounted, and I was like, oh, nothing is working, so I just kind of threw some simple things together, and that works. So there you go. When in doubt, just uh, keep it simple, you know? And this, this feels very me. This is very comfortable, and I definitely need to remember this combination for this season. I, I don't feel like changing the position of the tripod. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do let me know in the comments what was your favorite and if you made it all the way to the end, leave a leaf emoji or something fall related, I suppose. And if you like these outfits, make sure you follow me over on Instagram because that is where I share my outfits on a more regular basis. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Is the perfect synthetic. <laughs> Let me just wait for the phone to stop ringing because it rings all day, every day here. And the belt are from Thread Up. It always sounds like throw up. If you've ever wondered what it looks like after filming an outfit video, here you go. Absolute chaos.